Hi guys, welcome back. Jay here from BornToProduce.com and we're now going to add a mid-range section to that bass line that John has just created. This is going to give it a bit more oomph and a bit more body, so let's get to it. So for this I'm going to use a bass sample from our very own Born To Produce House Tools 1 sample pack, which is available on our website. Throughout this course we may use some drums and some other samples from it, but we will be giving you those for free, don't worry, in the work files that you can download from our website. So we're going to have a browse around for a bass sample. Let's just click on, in the right hand pane window, click on media. And this time we're going to go to file browser so we can check the contents of the computer. And we're going to go to our very own Born to Produce House Tools 1 sample pack. And we're going to check out some of the bass sounds now. Okay, we're going to select this one for now. It doesn't matter really at the moment because I'm going to show you how to change that bass sample later on. But for now, we're just going to right click and create sampler track. Now what Cubase has done is it's not only dropped the sample into the sample track, it's actually created a track for us as well, up here in the arrangement window. And this is connected to the sample here. But we need to trigger this sample with some MIDI. So let's use John's sub bass line from the last lesson. And we're going to click Alt and drag it down to copy. Let's just have a listen and see what that sounds like. Okay, as you, as you can hear, it's, it's pitched down way too much. So I'm just going to double click the MIDI part, select everything with Control and A, and then Shift and Up arrow to put it up an octave, as we did before. Okay, that sounds a bit better. Let's just bring the level down a little bit. Okay, so I think about there's about right. On the volume, had to bring that down quite a bit. Now we can mess around if we want to with the pitch, uh, the coarse value or the fine value here. And there's some interesting effects if you click on warp. And we can change the speed or the format. And the format sort of changes the tone nicely, but we're not going to bother with that at the moment. We're just going to carry on. It's just just going to um, put those controls back to zero by clicking Control. Okay, let's just see if we can find a better bass sound than that. And what the nifty thing about this sample track is, we can play this track while it's looping. We can and we can bring in some different samples on the fly. So let's just do that now. Quite nice. Another nice one there. Okay, let's just stick with the fifteen. That one sounds nice. So all of these bass samples and many, many other samples are taken from uh, our very own sample pack, Born to Produce House Tools 1, which is available on our website. And it's a big pack which includes kicks, hats, FX, uh, bass, leads, pads, all sorts of things. So go and check that out. And there's a discount code on the screen right now. But don't worry if we're just following along to this beginner's tutorial. We're going to give you the samples used in this lesson and future lessons in the work files folder which you can download. Okay, let's have another listen to what we've got so far with this bass line. Okay, let's make this a little bit more punchy. Let's click on the amp tool. And similar to Retrolog in the last lesson, we can change the amplitude envelope. So we can change whether it decays or it's got a longer tail or a plucky sound, or a short stubby sound. Let's have a little mess around. So 
So we can change the attack. Let's just solo this bass line to make it more apparent. So now we've got the attack back again. Now we've got a much snappier bass. That's where it was before. Let's just put that back into the mix. See what that sounds like. And then we have a nice snappy bass line which complements the sub bass line that was created in the last lesson. So I'm going to hand over to John shortly, who's going to start programming the lead synth. So let's just make this project a little bit longer for him. Just going to zoom out with G. I've just noticed that one of these hats needs to be taken in on the right hand side. There we go. Just so when we copy the whole part across, it won't overlap. So uh, highlights everything. Hold down Alt and copy across. And we're going to do that again. One more time. And now we have 16 bars of our track so far. So I'll have a quick listen. Okay, so the track is coming along nicely. I'm now going to hand over to John, who's going to start working on the melody and the lead synth. See you later. Thanks so much for your support guys, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more great videos.